We need a big change. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> uh, first, I want to extend um, to the veterans in this room and my heartfelt respect for the service that you have uh, done for our country. Um, I tell you, what really bothers me, uh, Congressman, I keep looking at that chart and I say to myself, why is it that they're only giving the VA, $45 million. Billion. 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 Oh, there's a million. Yeah, we tried that question. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. Okay. Whenever you are doing a presentation, uh, wherever it is, you always talk about how you don't take I think that's no. But when I really examine that statement, I think to myself, okay, the government's going to set, you know, start this single payer system that will ultimately go there. And one way they're going to pull that off is to eventually drive private insurance out. I believe. 100% that's going to happen. So my question to you is, when that happens, and your wife's insurance is jettisoned, what are you going to do then? Well, first of all, I don't accept the premise that, that uh, private health insurance... That's not my question. Well, but, you know, Business Week magazine this past week has a cover story about private health insurance companies and how they've already won in, in this, this issue. And, and frankly, Business Week is not a democratic publication, it's not a liberal publication. It's probably one of the most astute uh, you know, publications covering the American economy. And, and they, I think, um, to the detriment and disappointment of some people on the left, um, believe that insurance companies are going to do just fine in terms of uh, being able to sell their product uh, in the future with the bill that's being discussed right now before Congress. So, you know, we could, we could sort of speculate and throw out lots of different scenarios about what we're going to do or not do. Uh, the point that, that I simply made as a candidate when I ran for office and made that pledge and as someone who's now in office is just simply that members of Congress sh should not be treated any better than, than the American people are. Period. And, and, you know, whether or not, um, you know, that's through a purchasing exchange where everybody has to buy their returns with a menu of choices or whether it's some other form, I mean, that's still the standard. But, but I would just say this, you know, as somebody whose father was an insurance defense lawyer and, you know, insurance companies pay my tuition bills when I was growing up as a kid, I mean, I think the insurance industry is going to be around a lot longer if for the future and, and a lot longer than I'm around. I, mean, okay. I just I really feel that that's, that's okay. really a fear okay. that it's really not going to be realized. All right, Congress, thank you. Uh, but I still got to ask you that pointed question. If the employer decides to end their insurance just where she works as a nurse, so she has no insurance, the so only, only insurance availability she'll have is the single payer system. My question, or she takes private insurance, which she can't cover you. All right, whatever. Will you take the insurance health care plan by the government that we will be eligible for? Well, assuming if everybody is in one system, which again, I don't accept as an assumption. I don't think that's going to be an outcome here. But if everybody, including you and everyone else in this room, is in one system, then yeah, I mean, that's, that, that complies with the standard, which I set, which is that members of Congress shouldn't be treated any better or any worse than, than, uh, than American citizens as a whole. I, yes, ma'am. I, I mean, you know... So you're saying, saying yes, that. you would do that. You would take it, that? I would take what you Bye. would get. I, yes, I would take what you would get. Thank you. Yes. So, okay, can I ask, please, I, I set this meeting up to deal primarily with veterans' issues. If yes. we could, I mean, we have very little time. Can we keep this, please, focused on veterans' issues yes. for the moment? I care very much about veterans. Thank you. Okay. Um, thank you. Thank you for coming, Congressman. Uh, my name is Sherry Ho, and I live in Brooklyn. And my grandfather was a former post commander of the Danielson VFW. 
So I would like to say thank you for all of your service. Uh, I serve you on the Board of Trustees for the Veterans Affairs here in the state of Connecticut. And I'm a new member. And there is an event for homeless veterans and veterans that need help called Stand Down 2009. And uh, I'm going to stay over here. And if anybody would like um, information on that, you know of some veterans that need help, I um, want to go to this event. Um, I have the information. And I just wanted to say thank you to the veterans. Thank you, Sherry. That, that, that event, for any of you who have ever had a chance to witness it, is uh, incredible. Went and he got a hold of Lieberman, who had Danny Papermaster. They got a hold of Nancy Johnson, John Rowland. Now I got Lieberman, John Rowland, Nancy, and Nancy Johnson, who's on the Ways and Means in the majority, and they go to they go to try to keep this magic switch switch in New Britain. This guy is going to say, I can make it here, I can make it profitable, and, and, and I can make a go of it. You know what Jack Trenny said? I decided it's going to China. That's where it's going. He wouldn't even let him do it. That's the problem when you have corporate leadership like that. Well, you know what? When you open and by the way, fire. again, for the camera, whether you be a conservative or whether you be a liberal, there's probably 10% of the stuff we agree on. Maybe if we look and focus on that, because I'll tell you, while they got you over here, watch a sleight of hand. to take taking everything out over there. I think uh, that we have more in common. By the way, I'll tell you what we have. Probably like what, what, we have what we have a lot in common is we're both outspoken. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys.